Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how you could uh, create a very interesting rig that allow us for uh, controlling the rotation of a dimmer wheel here and the both the rotation and the intensity of the light of this uh, of this lamp here through the use of what we call set driven keys so uh, let's take a closer look at our scene here as you can see I have here uh, a uh, I have modeled a very simple uh, lamp here desk lamp all right and I have also this lamp has a, a dimmer wheel here that allows for for adjusting the intensity of the lamp and I have split my panel and I have also made another 3d view here that where I have zoomed in uh, at the uh, dimmer wheel so you can have a better idea how it uh, you know it, uh, it is animated all right and this dimmer wheel as I told you before, adjust the uh, intensity of this lamp here. The lamp itself has a, a material, emission material uh, applied to it. So, and the strength of the material is actually a set driven key. So I have linked the essentially the strength of the lamp to a property, to a transform channel of this bone here. This bone actually uh, is the dimmer bone. As you can see here, up here at the outliner, and this bone, what this does is that by rotating this bone here along its local y-axis, I have linked this rotation both to the rotation of the dimmer wheel object and to the uh, strength of the emission materi material of the lamp through the use of drivers. Okay, so I have actually created two different set driven keys having as a variable the rotation of this uh, bone here. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I'm selecting the bone here, which is the dimmer bone, and I go to the little bone icon here, the bone uh, menu, and uh, here you have the rotation for the bone. Uh, very important, you have to be at the pose mode. So switch over to the pose mode, not to the object mode, but instead to the pose mode in order this to work. So now, being here in the bone properties here menu i want to rotate my bone around its local y-axis but very important switch from the default quaternion transformation to the xyz euler transformation we don't want quaternions right now here so first go here switch over to xyz euler transformation and then just click left click and scrub and as you're scrubbing this value here, the Y rotation, you can see that the bone is rotating around its local Y axis. At the same time, take a look on, at the upper left uh, you know, uh, panel and you can see the uh, dimmer wheel to rotating. And take a look at the bottom right rendering view uh, panel and you can see that as I'm scrubbing the slider, the intensity of the lamp is changing you can see now it has i mean it it, it really uh, has much uh, higher intensity the light as i'm scrubbing it to the right the light dims is dimming all right so you can see we have until the lamp is turned off so once more the lamp is turned off click left mouse click and scrub this field here the y rotation you can see at the upper left you can see the dimmer wheel is rotating and at the bottom right you can see that the lamp is casting more more light well how this can be done well uh, let's switch over to another scene that i have prepared for you before having set uh, the set driven keys so let's switch to the copy scene which is the scene 002 and here you can see we have this bone here which is the dimmer bone and I want to connect to link this bone both to this dimmer wheel object over here and to the strength property of the material of the lamp through the use of drivers. So what, so, uh, what can I do for this? 
First of all, let's go ahead and select this dimmer wheel object. I want to make this to rotate when the bone is rotating around its local Y axis. So, go ahead and select your dimmer wheel object, this one, and we want to go here from this from the properties panel. We want to go to the this little cube icon, which is the object data menu, and I want to right click on this. Y rotation field. So hover your mouse over this Y rotation field. All right, right click, and I want to add a single driver to this uh, Y rotation property or channel. So select add a single driver. You can see that now it has turned purple, which thing signifies that we have added a driver to this uh, dimmer wheel object. But this driver has not yet been configured just yet so we need to configure this driver somehow meaning that we have to link this driver to the uh, to a property of another object of the scene in our case this is going to be the y rotation of the bone of the dimmer bone here object this one and i have chosen the y uh, rotation field here to add the driver to because I want the dimmer wheel object to start rotating around its local Y axis, as you can see here. All right. So I have added the driver. I need now to go ahead and configure the driver. For this purpose, we we'll go down here where it is the graph editor window and we switch from the F curve editor, which is by default. We switch from this button here to the drivers mode. And instantly you can see we have this driver here. It says dimmer wheel 004 which is this object here over here and we, we have a list of drivers for these objects for this object excuse me which in our case is the y other rotation um, uh, driver so uh, in order to work on this driver and configure the, and set the driver and link the driver to this bone all i have to do is to press end and bring this side panel here all right, select the driver. First of all, le left click button, select the driver. And we have this side panel here, as you can see, where we can assign which one property or properties or variables we want to control this driver here. So the first thing we want to do is to change the type of the driver from scripted expression into a variable value. And now we want to go ahead and assign which object is going to be affecting, is going to be controlling this driver. In our case, of course, is going to be this is going to be the bone, the dimmer bone, this one object here. So from this uh, from this box here, from this field here, I click on that and I select dimmer bone. So now I have linked the dimmer bone to this dimmer wheel through the driver of course the bone now is an armature the dimmer bone so I have to also go ahead and specify from this bone uh, you know uh, field here which bone is going to be from all those in the armature in our case we have only one bone in the armature so we just select bone now I have to tell blender which property of the bone is going to be controlling the rotation the y rotation of the, of the dimmer wheel so from the uh, type here i select of course the, the general type is transform channel all right because we want to uh, to link a transform channel of the bone to the rotation of the of the dimmer wheel so uh, the type of transform channel is going to be the y rotation of of, of uh, the dimmer bone as you can see this is the y axis so i want the dimmer bone to rotating around its on Y axis. So Y rotation and as a space I switch over to the local space because I want always as a, if I rotated the bone I want always to keep rotating around its local Y axis. So I change the space into the local space. All right now in uh, any case I want to click on this update dependency button so I get I'm 100% sure that those changes have, have taken effect and now let's go ahead and select my dimmer bone 
go here to the not to the this new icon but instead to this bone icon here because we have now we are in the pose mode so we are working with a bone not the object uh, actually so i want to go down here and change the quaternion wxyz into a xyz euler rotation and now i'm left clicking and scrubbing this field here you can see if you take a look at the upper left corner as the bone is rotating because of the set driven key because of the driver now also the dimmer dimmer wheel object is rotating as well accordingly to the rotation of the bone all right so that is a very simple set driven key for transformation now let's go to see how a the same the same driver can drive can control all right the strength property of the emission material of the lamp up here over here so let's go ahead and select the lamp all right and i want to go to the material and where it writes strength here all right this is the strength of the emission material which i want to uh, apply a driver as a driven key to so right click on this and select a driver it turns purple pretty much as before with the dimmer wheel so i know now that a new driver has been assigned to this emission uh, to this property of the emission material so in order to configure the driver i have to go to the f curve editor window here and switch from the f curve editor which is by default uh, to the drivers mode okay in this graph editor i mean so you can see that when you have selected the lamp select the lamp in the 3d view you can see that here it is the driver from the lamp.002 which is this lamp here and the driver if you click on this triangle little triangle here and unfold this click on this little triangle once more say there no tree and here you have the default value strength this is the property that the driver is going to be controlling so click on this and we are presented in this side with this side panel here where we want to link this uh, the strength property of the emission material uh, of the light material uh, of this lamp to the uh, dimmer bone here so uh, very easily i first go ahead and change the type from scripted expression to average value then i want to keep this to transform channel because i want to take advantage of the transform channel of the dimmer bone next thing i want to do having selected my lamp is to uh, to assign the actual object which is going to be of course the dimmer bone now i have linked this dimmer bone here to not to the lamp but to the material and, and more speci specifically to the strength property of the emission um, light material of the lamp okay now i have to define which to specify the bone of this uh, dimmer bone uh, you know uh, that i want to use for the transformation and it's going to be the only one i have in the armature which is going to be the bone itself I want now to specify the type of transform channel, okay, which is going to be again the Y rotation of the bone. And of course, I want to change the space to local space. All right. Now, if I select my dimmer bone, uh, dim, d excuse me, dimmer bone, yeah, uh, armature here, and go over here to the bone menu, I want to make sure first that I have selected the XYZ Euler. Uh, you know transformation uh, you know coordinate space and I want to scrap the wheel and by scrapping the wheel you can see that what we have here is that as I am rotating and scrubbing the wheel both the dimmer wheel object is rotating and the lamp is casting more light okay so I can effectively uh, affect the intensity of the light of the lamp I, ca I can turn, uh, turn the la lamp off or I, if I scrub to the right, I can turn this on and make it to casting more, even more light, light, okay? So now, you could change some properties here, 
let's go select your lamp and let's say I wanted to inverse the effect uh, of the rotation in this this is why this generator modifier is is here for and this is by default uh, you can see the expanded polynomial uh, you know uh, modifier generator modifier so now we have here two values and the first value actually this is a first order polynomial and the first value uh, is the uh, the the starting value of the expression and the second value is the factor uh, that is affecting the uh, that is affecting this uh, you know the change uh, in the rotation so this is the most important factor the second one if you wanted to inverse to reverse uh, the effect of the rotation all you had to do will be to make this negative so make this minus one now as I'm rotating you can see the uh, the bone I have the inverse effect okay I mean I have inverted the effect of the rotation of the bone uh, to the strength of the light intensity of the lamp all right so let's go ahead and bring this to one of course you can play with other values as well like uh, 0.5 here and you can have a much you know a much um, a a smoother effect all right meaning you have to scrub a lot before you get something uh, you know a result here all right so anyways um, that was for today I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something from this and this is how you can actually set uh, drivers and set driven keys for affecting the properties of uh, of uh, different uh, objects in your scene i hope you enjoyed it if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with another hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye